Okay, so JD and I, we're here at the this bank of vending machines. This is one I often come to, especially when I'm heading down to Minami Alps. There's more down here as well. And there's even uh, cigarette machines at the end there. Um, you need a special card to access that. This is all coffee down here. There's some cocoa. There's a ton of coffee. Like yeah. in this vending machines back over there, there was yep. coffee as well. Well, this is pretty rare. We don't see Mountain Dew very often or a normal Pepsi. Usually it's like this kind of thing. J Cola. J Cola. So yeah, the red, the lit up with red is hot and blue is cold. So yeah, there's a <laughs> sweet bean soup or <laughs> what's that? That's the corn, 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 corn pottage. Corn I want to try a new energy drink, I think. Yeah. So something I saw. Have you ever tried this one? I have not. It so. actually has what is the word I'm looking for? Not Novocaine. What's <laughs> Novocaine. what's the cooling <laughs> sensation? Uh, menthol. Menthol. That's the word. <laughs> Novocaine. Not Novocaine. Menthol. This is mentholated. After 30 seconds, it kicks in or something. <laughs> that Novocaine. I think your mouth would be numb after. <laughs> yeah, this. That, I can't taste yes, anything. that wasn't the word I was looking for. But yeah, let's let's get let's get that. Checking in ten dollar bill. So these this is 190 yen, which is like two bucks yeah. ish a little less than it's that because of the change rate True. let's try this uh this hot <laughs> uh thing this hot thing how much is it it's only a hundred it's a deal okay if it's good well it's <laughs> it's gonna be great yeah so there we go it's nice and warm oh look there's more corn up here too how about some onion gratin Onion grot. Okay, I will try the onion grot. Okay, grotten. and this is similar to the one I just bought, so we don't need to buy another one yeah, of those. Yeah, yeah. I will try. Let's the try onion grotten. some onion grot. That's grotten. more up my alley. Okay, and this is this is hot. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Put some onion grotten. Right. Okay. We actually stopped at a vending machine, a bank of vending machines, to grab some unique drinks. And also, we hit up a convenience store. Yes. So once again, JD is with me today. Hi. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the stuff that we chose, JD. <laughs> right. So what did we get? Apparently, Paul's tried this I before. I tried this once before, yeah. But I haven't, so I'm yeah. going to try this match set position. Well, it's got it's Argentine. Like they're Argentine. appealing to the tennis crowd with this sort of energy drink, uh, I think. I see. Well, so there you go. Anyway, I've been looking for a new energy drink to try out, yeah. so I'm going to try that. Uh, wait, what's the word? Um, can't remember the word. Um, menthol. Yay. That's it. Menthol. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's got menthol in it. But I thought it'd be cool. Pour, right. it in a, pour it in a little cup just to do, do, do. see how it looks. Looks okay. like Mountain Dew. It's like pee. Yeah. Oh, Mountain Dew. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's got that kind of yeah. yellowish green. Let's see. Has um. Hmm. The, what the is that energy like? drink kind yeah. of. Yeah. Uh, energy candy. Drink kind of. It's sort of a candyish sort of flavor, maybe. Or it tastes like. Red Bull, more a or less. Bit. Yeah, more or less. It's it's closer. It's like a sweeter Red Bull, just a tad. Red Bull's a bit sharper. Because this is more of a, as you said, can of kind of yeah. a little bit of a candy. You getting the menthol thing yet? It says on the can that it kicks in after 30 seconds or something. He's right. Like my, um, it really does make your tongue feel kind of cold. Yeah, like, this this energy drink has a that it, particular well the, the real way feature, you, you know. Right? If, menthol like if you have menthol anything and then you blow on it it, it really uh, responds so, i wonder yeah. if i suck air in if it would yeah a little bit a little bit maybe yeah yeah maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can i can say there's menthol in there yeah a lot of i've noticed a lot of sort of wake me up kind of things mm. have a menthol thing like gum and stuff like right. that to try to drowsy drivers but yeah i like it good I would get, I would buy this again. Yeah, I like it, this. Now, is it better than the cocoa coconut red Red Bull that we tried? Yeah, in our because that episode? was false advertising. I say. Okay. It's like so yeah. blasphemy. Okay. <laughs> but anyhow, before this video gets too deep, yeah, um, I forgot. I wanted to mention we hit five uh, five thousand. We hit fifteen thousand subscribers on the channel, JD. Ooh. So. In the past, I have had some pretty big giveaways. Um, I think the last big one I had was when we hit 10,000. 10, I've had a few smaller ones since then. Um, but the big one, the last big one was when we hit 10,000 about maybe five months ago or something. Mm. So I want to do a giveaway for 15,000, but I'm not really sure exactly what kind yeah. of giveaway to do because it's a lot of work. The question is. Yeah, exactly. 
So many small gifts or a few nice gifts kind of thing. <laughs> They're all nice, but <laughs> yeah. So what I was thinking is if I could ask my viewers, um, up in the corner here, there'll be a poll. You can click on it and there'll be some options. Just to be thematic, I like to do it according to the, the level we hit. So this will be 15. Mm. So I either want to give away 15 small prizes, which is a lot of prizes, but they're just small, like one, maybe one item each. Or I want to give away five prizes that have three items each. So that's 15 as well. Or I'll give away three prizes that have five items each. So the more prizes, obviously, the more chance there is to win, but the smaller the prize that you'll receive, yeah. obviously. So if you could just go up and vote <laughs> on which you would prefer up in the corner, I'd mm. appreciate that. And that will help me decide exactly how to proceed um, yeah, it's up. It's above JD's head there. <laughs> in the past, the sort of prizes that I give away, usually I like to give away the pizza potatoes. You know, those Calbee pizza potato oh, chips. Oh yeah, those are good. The, yeah, yeah, the, with the cheese, the cheese on, on it. Yeah. yeah, those are good. Um, also, whatever the latest Kit Kat is that's out. Uh, I think right now we have a strawberry tiramisu flavor or something like that. Those kind of things. So I'll, I'll either make a box with X number of items depending on your vote and send it out to X number of winners or it'll be 15 prizes of maybe just one of those items. So right. how about one prize of 15 items? That is, I guess that's also a possibility. <laughs> um, I'll put it up just there. Just one winner. One winner. <laughs> the thing is, I go to go to eat some sushi, right? And I make a video. So if there's only one, I roll the dice once, uh, video's over kind of thing. Uh. <laughs> if you guys really want one winner, 15 <laughs> prizes, um, I'll ask JD to help me choose the prizes when that time comes. <laughs> But I'll also put that up in the options there. So there you go. So thanks a lot, guys. Please vote up there. I will check the results and let you guys know exactly how we're going to proceed and how you can enter the contest. Some onion gratin. Uh, okay. So do you want to try it? Yeah. All Maybe right. Give me a little bit Cups. there. All right. Onion gratin. Oh, wait. I changed Gravy. my mind. <laughs> Gravy. Oh, yeah. It smells... Interesting. It smells like onions. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I wish I hadn't seen it. You know yeah. what I mean? I, yeah. It might be fine, but now I'm biased because yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> it's like a watered down version of <laughs> okay. what you might think. But anyhow, cheers. cheers. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted something like that, this would do it for you. I'm not sure I would I'm, want something like that. I, I, I should not have had this one first because now oh, really? the menthol is in there oh, no. so i'm tasting menthol, menthol in this and i think that's really skewing my perception of what mm. this should taste like because now i can't tell is that this or is that the menthol yeah it um, kind of it kind of is what it claims to be you know yeah it, like it's an onion soup drink i'm gonna go on a limb even though like the menthol is messing with my sense of taste right now i think i could see myself buying this again it's like a onion soup yeah, that's what it's advertising yeah. and that's what it tastes like. So well done. You want to try this one next? This is another hot one. I don't know if or I do. A warm one. <laughs> yeah, you do. I know you don't, but <laughs> I will. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yuck. I'm good. <laughs> it's way more than <laughs> I wanted. <laughs> I had to give you a few lumps in there. Oh, God. Yeah. What is that? There you go. You see those lumps? There we go. Little, little plops of goodness. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm thinking. Cheers. <laughs> God. Oh, wow. That's way sweeter than I thought it would be. I, mean, I thought it was going to be sweet. Like, I was pretty sure it was a sweet. I, a sweet bean kind of thing. I am surprised. Really? Very. Pleasantly surprised. Well, I mean, I, don't, just surprised. I, I still don't know if I would buy this mm. again, but way better than I thought it would be. Yeah. It's a sweet wow. bean drink. Wow. That's weird. Like, yeah. I did not think, I would not expecting that at all. Mm -hmm. I don't like the chunks. I'm not a big well, fan of chunks and drink of anything. floaties in it for sure. Yeah, floaties. Right. But, but um, that mm. is weird. Like, yeah, sweet beans. Jumping it's sweet. On. It's very sweet. And it's warm, too. Sweet, warm beans. What's not like, to when love? It, when it initially hits my tongue it almost reminds me of hot cocoa 
But then uh, that kind of quick that kind of quickly goes away as the rest of the bean flavor kicks in. Right. But at, just at that first instant, it's like hot cocoa, right? Which is what I was surprised about. I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you weren't expecting it, it's a fun, huh. fun new experience. Wow. Yay. That's cool. Okay, so as I was saying, we also hit up a Lawson and yeah. I grabbed um, some sandwiches. This is the volume variety and <laughs> hopefully it's focusing there for you. You see that? It's got uh, four different flavors it looks like. Yeah, four different types. Um, potato salad, egg, ham and lettuce, and some sort of cuts, some cutlet right there. Okay, so let's give this a try. It was 250 yen for this. Hmm. So, some of you may think it's weird to have potato salad in a sandwich, and actually you're right, it is weird to have <laughs> potato salad in a sandwich, but as weird as it may be, <laughs> it's not it's much like, in there. It's like, it's got cabbage in it. Is there potato in that? There's cabbage. It's probably a cabbagey potato salad. But yeah, it is weird, um, but as weird as that may be, not much in it, is it's there? still pretty common. There's not much yeah. in there, but... It's cheap and it is good, maybe? It is good. <laughs> oh, okay. Das ist gut. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get there, Judy? I got some spring rolls, so <clears throat> pretty tasty, I think. Tasty looking, anyhow. We got some salmon. Uh, I think the, the white bits in there are uh, daikon, which is Japanese radish, um, sliced really thin. Looks like lettuce, carrot, and. Probably cream cheese. I think that's cream oh, cheese. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, Some sort of dressing. Also, huh? Oh, no, it's uh, wasabi oh. kochijang dressing. So, some kind nice. of kochijang. Kochijang. What is kochijang? It's not as watery as I thought it was going to be. It's like a honey almost type of thing. I did not think this through. This? I'm going to have to touch this now. <laughs> you got chopsticks there. Oh, okay. Is that kochijang? Kochi yeah, that's it what it says. It translates as kochijang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm assuming it's, it's, it's kochijang. It's probably a Vietnamese word or something <laughs> yeah. related to that. Yeah, I don't know. It's kochijang. Yeah, okay. <laughs> word of the day. Kochijang. Word of the day is kochijang. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. I also picked up a, I guess it's a burrito is what it is. Um, they just nuked it for me. This one is a margarita burrito. Cheese, bacon. Oh, I've had that before. And sauce. Yeah, I've had that before. Yeah. I like that one. That's a good one. Sort of an Italian burrito. But I think my spring rolls will be good so uh. <laughs> okay i like mine yeah it's it is, good yeah i was right it is cream cheese it's cream cheese Yours probably a bit healthier than mine <laughs> a bit <laughs> yeah the last time i had a burrito from a convenience store was the halloween burrito that black habanero oh. one that was really good yeah usually when it says pizza it's kind of like eh, that's not pizza <laughs> I guess it did say margarita, so it's implied that it's pizza. <clears throat> what, kind of <laughs> what kind of seasonings? They got? they got a nice basil kind of flavor to it, or no? Yeah, no, it has those kind of flavors oh, in it, well. yeah. Mine has a nice sharp taste to it because of the daikon and the rash. And also a little bit from the sauce is like kind of just a hint of wasabi. Oh, yeah. Um, I've said in previous videos before, I'm not a huge fan of wasabi, but this is just enough that it's, you know, in there that you can get the kind of kick, but not the like nose rattling, like horseradish kind of thing. Personally, I'm not a fan of that, but I don't think you are, aren't you? No? Not a huge fan, but no. it's, once in a while, it's kind of nice. I also grabbed some sushi. I'm not gonna eat everything right now. I'm just having a bit of a feed. Okay, so there we go. Convenience store sushi. This was <laughs> 200 and well, after tax, it was almost 300 yen, 298 yen. <laughs> so is that a good deal or not? I guess it depends how fresh it is. And it's got some soy sauce here. You can see there's like fake crab meat in there. Mm. Um, looks like there's some tuna or something in this one. Maybe egg? Egg. Oh yeah, there's egg. Mm. And it's probably that sweet egg, right? Oh uh, yeah, probably. They do this thing in Japan where they take egg and they, well, mix it with sugar, I think. Oh. Yeah to make it sweet. Um, then they pour it out onto this long uh, square or rectangle pan. And, and since it's really thinned out on one in one sheet, it cooks really quick, the whole thing. And then they flip it end over end, rolling it up into like a log of 
egg. egg. <laughs> <laughs> and then they slice that to put mm. it in various things like this. Some of my viewers are familiar with that because whenever I go to sushi mm. and I roll the dice, I often end up mm. with a sushi that has a piece of that uh, egg. Yeah, and yeah. It's usually kind of sweet too. Yeah. I am a fan of this match like drink. It? I like this. Yeah, I do. Although, as as I said previously, the problem is you can't really mix it with other foods because that menthol taste will get exactly. on it. It will just taint everything. It's with meant to give you a jolt and wake you up. Um, yeah, but yeah, um, flavor flavor wise, it's quite soothing and I like it. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, the tuna one. So I'm not going to eat all of this, but I will take a bite of this cat's. Um, is it a cat's? That's a good question. It could, it could be like a tonkatsu. It's no, it isn't. Oh, no. What is that, a potato? I think so. <laughs> we need more. <laughs> what does the sandwiches need? More potato. Not only is there potato salad, there's a potato croquette. I got a fever. Oh man. The only cure is more potato. <laughs> okay, so if you're in Japan and you want a sandwich, <laughs> I do not recommend the volume variety. Sure, it's got a lot of volume, but it's, it doesn't have a lot of variety. <laughs> mm. Okay, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm not going to finish these off, <laughs> but we are going to head on our way. Yeah. Um, don't forget to vote in the poll just above JD's head there so that we can decide what to do for the big giveaway coming up. And thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> If I had to drink, it's like, drink one full can of this or that. Kind <laughs> or of, else. <laughs> or else. Yeah. I don't know. That's a tough one. Um, I, I think I'm going with the onion uh, soup. Uh, that's, for myself. That is a... For, on my part, this is that's a very difficult choice. I mean, I feel like they're about the same for yeah. way different reasons. But, but you would never want to mix them. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs>